Hi, as we understand, mobility is one of the key performance indicator. And here we are going to talk about the cell reselection where the user is moving from one cell site to another cell site. And here we are considering an example of intrafrequency cell reselection. It means there is only one single carrier that is available in the network and user is moving between one cell to another cell, but the, the carrier frequency remains same. Now, what the procedure behind this cell reselection is. So this is the this is the procedure which is triggered by the user equipment by itself by sensing continuously the signal strength in the downlink. And why do we need to reselect the cell from one cell to another cell? Because we understand if the user is not in a very good radio conditions, it will consume more power if the, the battery will discharge soon. One. Second, it will create more interference in the network because it has to transmit more power to the cell which is not having a very good signal strength. So we would like to reduce the overall signaling load and we would like to lower the battery consumption for the UE. How it works? So there is a discontinuous reception cycle which is embedded in the network and the UE need not to be continuously sense or receive the signaling it will just wake up whenever there is a drx cycle comes into the picture and ue decides to reselect by itself but there are certain thresholds that are that are def defined in the network and are embedded in the system information blocks we talked about it so there are different system information that has been transmitted from the network to the ue to inform that okay if this is this threshold is met you need to perform this particular task so here in this case, what normally we are saying is we are taking one example of the cell reselection based on the RSRP. So we are talking about only the signal strength here. So here in release eight, what normally the criteria was. So any UE who is in a particular cell is having certain RSRP going below certain threshold, which is S intra search P. We'll talk about the value of these different parameters, but so far let's understand the concept that whenever the signal strength will drop below this particular threshold, there would be a measurement start for a new cell. So user will start searching for a new cell in this case, and this threshold is already being transmitted in the SIP information blocks in the downlink. So once UE has seen that, okay, it has dropped below this particular threshold for particular time, which is GD selection. And it is sensing that there is another serving cell which is having a better, better signal strength, then it will shift to that particular, particular cell. This is how the reselection happens.